What are we talking about? Kind of nuts question, dude. <laughs> when I'm surfing, spirit animal. When I'm surfing, I feel like my spirit animal would be like a, like a duck, like just kind of just always cruising around, <laughs> kind of like a water vibe, you know. You can ride waves if you're a duck, and I'm sure ducks get barrel too. I mean, if jet ski was alive, it'd be that for sure. <laughs> can it be like a spirit person? He wants to be a jet ski. I don't know. I, I've always kind of. I could be like a like a bird, like an eagle, like big wingspan driving down the line. But um. A pelican. You're a pelican. I'm a pelican. Butterfly. Don't bother anybody. I think uh, my spirit animal is like a mosquito. I just cling on to the every wave and just try to suck the most out of it as I can. Yeah. And whatever animal gets clamped the hardest <laughs> goes over the falls. But I usually get swatted towards the end, and um, never never really make it out of there alive. Hope you enjoyed that view. Speaking of view, how about the cotton side? Cotton <laughs> side again. And cotton inside again. Oh my god. I mean the word the word for me for Mexico is just it's simple. You know, it's not 
you come here, everything else fades in. All you're trying to do is hang out with your friends and get barreled and ride jet skis and eat good food. And it's kind of boils down to that. Just eat, sleep, surf, repeat. And you know, that's, that's kind of, you come over here to escape. You have an amazing time and everything else fades away. And it's just, it's simple, simple and fun. The food is insane. The waves are insane. Everything about this place from A to Z is absolutely like as good as it gets. It's insane. I love it here in Mexico and the barrels are insane. And that's just kind of, that's my happy place. I think the best word that describes Mexico is hot. The sun is hot, the beach is hot, the water is hot. Pretty much hot all day, all night. Better man sweating. <laughs> Sunburn too, that's another good one. That's, that's a one word, yeah. So, yeah, I'll go with sunburn actually, because you just get fried. The sun just roasts your skin, and then it falls off, and you get new skin, and then you get roasted again, and then it falls off. Tacos. Tacos. That's a wrap, we'll take it. <laughs> we'll, take it. We'll, take it. well, between the both of us, who's the better jet ski driver? On the trip, every time we come down, or it's involving a jet ski, it's, it's a battle. So we have a point system, whoever, does a really bad mistake, loses half a point. Whoever rolls a jet ski loses a full point. It's a full deal, a full thing every day while we're here. What happened? Oh, Kakea rolled the ski. Kakea got a little too cocky. I think he just like ended up dry docking and I think he cavitated and went over the falls, went over the handlebars. <laughs> Next time we'll document it more. Anyways, back into it. I personally think I'm the better jet ski driver because I have more experience, but he is a little more young and more confident, and then therefore he makes a lot more mistakes than I do. So, so big deal, who's a better ski driver, Kai K. Elias or Jamie O'Brien? I think Jamie because he's got, he's got the experience on the ski, and the way he drives it I think is safer and overall the one. I don't know, you know, they say about surfing down here is, uh, you know, about 85% of your barrels is the driving. So if you go off that metric, if you look at who got more barreled this trip, it was Jamie by a mile. So 85% <laughs> of that was me. <laughs> this is so true. So, I mean, yeah, I might've lost a couple of points, might've crashed on the beach, sorry, Carlos. But um, <laughs> according to that formula, according to who gets more barreled, I am by far the better jet ski driver. Um, He's just a good friend that gives me lots of barrels. I'm young, I'm confident, I take risks and they pay off. Simple as that. What is it? Day four? Day four, uh, day five. You know, maybe not too many days, but um, swell's oh, jumping. Wait. Hold on. <laughs> what happened here? This is when you were crowding me, Lucas. New wetsuit or what? Yeah, I was giving <laughs> kind of a little bit of pressure while he put his wetsuit on. And it looks like he put it on backwards. I felt the pressure, a little shame. And oh, no. I don't know how to fix this. <laughs> Start again. <laughs> Just put it all the way on, dude. This could be backwards, surfer guy. I mean, it'll, it'll work the same way, right? <laughs> it still works. So yeah, um, I, I typically don't let IKEA change alone. You know, I don't want him to get lonely. And looks like he freaked out a little bit and put on, put on his wetsuit backwards. Yeah, we had a later start today, so it's a little bit brighter than usual. So, so was... at, at least it's a Buell wetsuit, and you know, the, you know, they're kind of reversible. It doesn't matter which way you put it on; it's still gonna work out. Bryce and Lucas were also on the trip. Bryce was kind of a last minute, like just wanted to sleep on the floor in his board bag. And I was like, dude, we got a place for you to stay with us. And Bryce actually got the wave of the trip. I mean, he's just styles for miles, shapes his own boards. He's got a cool vibe and a fun personality. He's a good guy. And, and uh, first day he got the best barrel of his life. And it just goes to show if you saw the edits, like absolutely ideal, insane barrel, deep, big 10 feet gnarly uh, Bryce definitely put on a show and and honestly I think the best part about it is is Bryce blew his own mind and said thank you for bringing me on this surf trip my front foot almost slipped off the board I probably should have had step off board or something but barely got under it and then got a little excited, excited. try to touch the roof ended up double claiming it it was cool shout out to stay psyched surf wax for really just helping us <laughs> stick to our boards the entire trip, you know? <laughs> oh, going, going on a surf trip with, with Lucas and Bryce is, is always good. You know, Lucas always gets a ton of good waves, always good vibes. He was getting spit out of barrels left and right. But, you know, Bryce really, really surprised me, really shy. You know, like he, he did get the best wave of the trip, you know, double section, hands up, big 10 foot spitter. It's always good. You know, I think it goes back to the crew. We had the sickest crew getting the sickest waves. And the best part is we showed up to the swell every day and, and all four of us kind of, you know, 
took the session, but Bryce and Lucas, great time, great surfers, good fun. Yeah. Well, here's a little smaller, yeah. but the boys are a lot more sight. So, anything can happen. Sit down barrels, what I heard, flies everywhere. Just wanna get in the water, get sight, get barreled. There you go. That's the plan. All right. Oh my God, dude, these are so, am I seeing these or just? No, they're <laughs> My favorite moment from the trip was probably getting an epic double barrel. Their good friend Chappy cut to the clip. It's definitely on purpose. We've actually been planning this out for the last couple weeks. I told Chappy to bring an extra long board and then I told my driver to go a little bit extra deeper just to make sure we're both in the barrel. And then once we got in there, it was just um, dream state. Too bad I dropped the GoPro, you know, on the ride out there. But um, besides that, everything came into play. Everything worked out perfectly. I claimed it, he claimed it. Spit blue, butterflies in the air. It's a pretty big claim, like who had the gnarliest wipeout for the trip. I mean, I definitely seen some crazy things happening with Kaikea. He went over the falls multiple times in the lip. I was literally laughing out of my mind. Bro. I, was, I was drinking Red Bull, cruising, watching this guy on the wave, and I just spit all my Red Bull out. The guy went flying over the falls. It was absolute chaos. I think Kaikea took the cake for the worst wipeout. It definitely feels like I had the worst wipeout, but if not, had to go to our boy Bryce. I saw him pull into an eight to 10 foot amazing wave driving through the barrel, big spit. And then I don't think he could see anything. And instead of coming out of the barrel, he just went right into the lip on the 10 footer. That was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> but then I think it was pretty great when I was driving the jet ski and you went over the falls on like a, like a six, eight footer. And you looked at me as you're going over the falls. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Dude. Who won the cameraman cup? Cameraman's cup. Who won the cameraman's cup? I would honestly say it was pretty radical. I mean, the wipeouts, if you're going for best wipeout, I would say Billy took the best wipeout. 
who got the best knee board. I say Alex got the best knee board. And you know who got the barrel, the best barrel, who won the cameraman's cup? It's time to get my boy Billy a couple waves. Hope you're psyching and, yeah. and I hope you're ready for this. Yeah. For sure it's gonna be the biggest wave of your life. Got you're it. gonna meet Billy, get ready. Let's this is Billy, he's been flying the drone for us. He is new to our team. And the plan is to get you the barrel of your life. Oh yeah. This possibly could happen. Filmers get waves too. Use my board, Thank hopefully you, you get sir. a couple sick ones. Uh, I'm feeling good, <laughs> haven't surfed in a couple months. I don't know what could go wrong. Sick wave, this thing barreled and spit, but I don't know what Bambi did up at the top of that wave. Kneeboard! Oh! What? He literally got a kneeboard barrel. Like, are those things even like standard nowadays? Cameraman <laughs> Cup's getting wild down here. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh, oh no. Oh. Body surf. Don, do you have a Oh my god! Alright, give him two more. Give him two more waves. Let's go, oh, man. No. no way! No way! No way! I got, I got to give it to Alex Richard. He, um, you know, he had the best barrel by a mile on his knees, and then he had the best completion on his one stand up. So, got to give it to to Alex Richard. But Billy definitely looks the par of the pro surfer. Bl yeah. Blonde hair, blue eyes, just had it all going for himself, and he just pumped himself into the lip. Alex definitely won the cameraman's cup. Basically, flagpole in a massive overhead barrel. Looked straight at the camera, man other cameraman who is Bill and said, in your face, I just got shacked, blown right out. You know, all in all, at the end of the day, we're sitting here and uh, enjoying the sunset together and, and uh, as a group of friends that came all the way from Hawaii to surf the swell, it felt pretty, pretty rewarding and let alone just a good vibe and just to leave here, you know, high-fiving each other, another epic memory, another dream trip added to the book of life and yeah, dream come true, surfing with you and your best friends. All right, well, the trip has come to an end. I hope you enjoyed the last few videos of Mexico. We had an amazing time, and we really appreciate your love, support, and everybody that subscribed to the channel. It's time to end the video. Don't forget, click the link right here to subscribe. And click right here to watch more videos. And hit that side counter. Make sure you check out jamieobrienshop.com. That's a major key. That's a chess move, move, move. I'm your favorite G, I think it's best, yo, yo, yo Stop with all the grilling, I'm on jet fuel Take a note, clear the runway, now they cannot clip my wings Yeah, they suck, 